And welcome back to the Hotline. We are talking the British Touring Car Championship is back officially now from its summer break. And we have the results of Croft qualifying. It is a front row for Colin Turkington, who got pole, and Dan Camish. And, well, I guess if two people needed to do something good this weekend, it was most certainly Colin Turkington and Dan Camish. So we're going to get into where everybody is in a second it's not it, and it's not it's not too bad. So what I'm going to do, let's um, speak about Mr. Turkington. He was quite far away in the points, and it was very much Jake Hill leading the charge. Yeah, I think he, you know, he had a couple of he had a good weekend at Brands Hatch, if I remember, didn't he? I believe. But yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the Colin Turkington of old. He was even struggling in qualifying. That may have been because of the hybrid. But we have come to Croft. And, well, Colin Turkington reigns supreme. What is going to happen this weekend? What does that mean this weekend for Mr. Turkington? But as you can, as you should be able to see here, um, in a couple of seconds, I'm just going to um, recapture that. So, this is the top, this is the top 10 plus some for the touring car grid. We've got Colin Turkington in pole, Dan Camish in second, Tom Ingram in third. Yes, and to be fair, Tom Ingram's quite good. He needs a good weekend as well. Um, Obviously higher in the championship than both Colin and Dan. Aaron Taylor-Smith in fourth. Rob Huff, another guy that we were sort of disappointed with in the championship uh, during our like half-time season review. Um, Ash Sutton, again, made it in the quick six um, and it, well, qualifies at sixth. But still, that's, that's uh, better than the championship leader, which we'll get into. Chris Smiley, Tom Chilton, 7th and 8th. Josh Cook, I, I can't help but feel a bit disappointed. He needed to be up there, along with Colin and Dan. But you never know, from 9th, you can still do good things. 10th, Mikey Double, 11th. Yeah, this is 11th. Uh, didn't make it into the quick six, obviously, was Jake Hill, the leader of the BTCC Championship currently. He'd be disappointed with that, but but like Josh Cook from 11th, he definitely can do something about it. Andrew Watson, 12th. Dan Robot, disappointing in 13th. Dow Deleon, we, we said, we were, you know, he was finishing in the high teens for, for a lot of the races. So I think 14th is really good from him. So fair play. Adam Mofa and Adam Morgan, Adam Morgan, 15th and 16th. Uh, disappointing, let's be fair. Disappointed. Sam Osborne, 17th. 18th, Roman Pearson. 19th, Scott Supton. And we have in 20th, Nick House. And hopefully he can do something from there. Um, but yeah, I'm massive, massively happy for Colin Turkington taking, I think, I believe it's his 29th pole position. Um, yeah, not too bad. He's got, and he's got, it says here, Turkington, he's got 14 victories at the North Yorkshire circuit, which is the most of any driver. So potentially favourite, at least for the first two races. Uh, he does need to reignite, as the article says, his 2024 championship. And also Dan Camage very much needs to as well. So they're starting from the best places of the grid. Reigning champion Ash Sutton has made it six successive quick six appearances. This is despite having, at times, you know, the least amount of hybrid, or very much some of the some of the least amount of hybrid amongst the front run runners. So once again, he's done really good. I think he'll be in for a good weekend. I think he'll be slightly concerned that Tom Ingram is ahead of him, but we know how good Dan Camish in the race, and we know how good. Um, Tom Ingram is at defending, most certainly. And even say, we've got here from Touring Car Times, um, he, sm he smashed, as in Colin Turkington, smashed that lap record um, uh, to qualify on pole. It was a frantic session. The best time was a 121.072, netting him a front row start for the first of Sunday's three races. And we saw how important that was in Donington, um, you know, um, winning those first two races was Tom Ingram. And also Brands Hatch of those first two races. Again, and Jake Hill has done it, I think, as well. So getting pole position, it seems this year, getting pole is a lot more important than it has been in the previous in the previous seasons. So congratulations to Colin Turkington on that front on that on that pole and Dan Camish getting that front row. This is uh, this is Dan Camish um, from the BTCC. He has he now has a multi, I think it's a multi-year deal with um, Napa Racing. Um, his renewal, we spoke to the Yorkshireman as we get ready. It's 30 seconds long. I just wanted to play this and comment on it because well done, Dan Camish. Hi guys, so here we are at Croft. This is round six of the British Touring Car Championship. It's my home event, uh -huh. being a Leeds lad. Homeboy. And, uh, yeah, it's good news to start start a Friday. Uh, a new two-year contract with Napa Racing UK. It means the world to me to have the support of this amazing team going Definitely. forward. 
it's been a great couple of years already. Uh, we're having a fantastic year this year. I'm hoping it, we can continue that this weekend. But to know they're behind me for the future is, is, is really special. And, uh, and yeah, looking forward to getting going now. Back on track after the summer break. Make sure you tune in. And back on track he is with that front row start. If he can get a good start, maybe he can get one of the wins. Um, I think at least two podiums, an absolute minimum for Dan Kamish to get his championship absolutely back on board. So if you like what you saw with this quick update, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Our picks of the race, obviously, I think Colin Turkington potentially is going to take the first two races unless someone like Dan Kamish can do anything about it. Race three, well, anything can happen so subscribe for more btcc content we also do formula one we do rally we do a bit of gaming and we'll speak to you soon thank you very much hit that notification bar if you don't want to miss a video thank you